when a person is praying for someone and start speaking in tongues <coughs> and receive some revelation wakati mtu anaombea mwingine na anaanza kunena katika ndimi alafu anapokea ufunuo because when we speak in tongues it's easier to be connected to the to the to God manake kuongea katika ndimi ni rahisi sana kuwa na muunganiko kwa Mungu so for some people they could experience seeing visions watu wengine huwa wanahisi kuona ufunuo maono or receiving some revelation ama kupokea ufunuo fulani so that's helpful hiyo inasaidia but you want to make sure that this person accepts the speaking tongue lakini lazima ukubaliane na huyo mtu kwamba anakubali uongee katika ndimi you go to a neighbor who doesn't believe in jesus and he starts speaking in tongue oho kila anamaanisha kwamba hauendi kwa jirani mwenye hata sio muamini anayeamini Kristo na unaanza kuongea katika ndimi ni makosa even if you receive some revelation the person might wonder why you you speaking some unknown language hata kama unapokea ufunuo yule mtu haamini Kristo atashangaa kwa nini unaongea katika lugha nyingine and for yourself for your own prayer you can spend much time speaking in tongue lakini katika maombi yako kibinafsi kama uko peke yako ama uko ndani ya wakristo wanaelewa ndimi unaweza kuchukua muda wako mwingi kuongea katika ndimi but when you do that keep thinking about jesus lakini hata kama unafanya hivyo jambo kubwa hapa ni kumfikiri kufikiria kuhusu kristo yesu don't just speak in tongue and it's just the mind is empty usiongee tu katika ndimi na akili yako haina kitu Keep loving Jesus. And the lea kumpenda Kristo. And then you can, you know, then you're more connected with God. Na hivyo sasa utakuwa umeunganika na Mungu kabisa. There could be people who keep speaking in tongue. Kuna watu ambao wanaendelea kunena katika ndimi, but they don't benefit from it. Lakini hizo ndimi haziwafaidi chochote. The mind might be empty or wandering about different things. Yaani unaongea katika ndimi lakini mawazo yako hata haiko katika maombi. Uparanga sadiku bila wa irekolo. So that might not be helpful. Hiyo haiwezi kusaidia.